Hi and welcome to Elpid Academy, my name is Becky and today we're looking at crossroads. So thanks for joining us, please be sure to subscribe to our channel, we really do appreciate all of your support. You can visit our training zone at trainingzone.lpodacademy.co.uk and check out our blog at learnapod.co.uk and also find us on social media. And please remember to like, share this video. Crossroads are a type of junction where two roads cross the paths of each other. This type of junction allows drivers to travel ahead left and right, unlike T-junctions where drivers can only turn left or right. Crossroads are often used instead of roundabouts if traffic flow is particularly busy and becomes congested. Very often, busier junctions tend to be controlled by traffic lights and may come with additional road markings such as box junctions and cycle lanes. In less busier areas, crossroads aren't controlled by traffic lights such as in residential and urban areas. Priorities are given to the major road and drivers need to adhere to give way road markings. Some crossroads may operate stop junction rules. Non-marked crossroads can be found in rural areas. These types of crossroads can be particularly hazardous. You should proceed with caution and very often nobody has priority. Crossroads in general. Crossroads are a type of junction that allows vehicles to turn left, right and continue ahead. Some crossroads are controlled by traffic lights and others aren't. When dealing with uncontrolled crossroads, it is important to be able to identify them on the approach. Uncontrolled crossroads can be found in residential areas, towns and city centres and also in rural areas. When approaching uncontrolled crossroads, you should look out for warning and direction signs telling you that you are approaching them. It is really important to also approach these types of crossroads using the MSPSL routine on the approach. You should be aware of all types of hazards. For example, pedestrians walking in the road, approaching vehicles, motorbikes and cyclists and children. When dealing with crossroads, you should follow this advice. You should use the larder method on the approach, look, assess, decide and act. You should signal and position your vehicle correctly in good time. You should understand road priorities and when to give way to other traffic. You should also know when to give priority to other road users. Obey all road signs and markings and know the difference between a stop and give way junction. You should know whether you are turning from a major to a minor road or whether you are turning from a minor to major road. Also, you should be able to understand the offside to offside rule when turning right. Unmarked crossroads. Unmarked crossroads are often found in remote rural areas. Road markings are often not given in areas with low traffic volume. This doesn't mean that the road or junction isn't hazardous, you should still continue with extreme caution. When dealing with unmarked crossroads, you should be careful when given priority. If you are turning right and the other vehicle is also turning right, nobody generally has priority. You should give way to the other driver if in doubt. Vehicles turning left or travelling ahead tend to have more priority over vehicles turning right. This is a general rule of thumb, however, please proceed with caution and due care and attention. As you emerge, it is really important to look out for other types of vehicles approaching and gain progress in the new road. Unmarked crossroads. When dealing with unmarked crossroads, you should follow this advice. You should identify that you are approaching an unmarked crossroads early by looking for road signs and warning signs. You should apply the MSPSL routine on the approach, position a vehicle correctly and in good time. You should understand who has priority over other vehicles who are also turning right. If turning right, make sure to take or give priority to other vehicles also turning. You could also gain eye contact from the other driver. If in doubt, you should just give priority to the driver. When emerging, make progress in the new road. Controlled crossroads. 
When it comes to traffic light control crossroads, it's really important to be able to identify them on the approach. Very often, you will be able to see that you are approaching a crossroads due to the road layout. However, these will always be marked with road signs and markings. Traffic light controlled crossroads enable you to travel ahead, left and right and very often come with road markings to position you correctly on the approach. Sometimes you will only be able to turn left from the left lane and will need to travel ahead in the right hand lane. Sometimes you will only be able to go left and ahead or ahead and right. Again, these rules will be clearly marked by the use of road signs. When dealing with controlled crossroads, it is important to use the MSPSL routine on the approach. When dealing with these controlled crossroads, it's important to follow these steps. Look out for road signs. This will help determine which direction you need to take. Search for road markings whilst using the MSPSL routine. Position yourself in the correct lane. Ensure you signal correctly. Search for other detailed road signs, speed limits, cycle lanes, no left turns, etc. You should search for road markings, box junctions and cycle lanes. And you should make sure you follow the correct traffic light signal. Keep an eye out for left and right filter lights. For more driving test tips, please visit our video training series, Partial Driving Test First Time. This video series explains the driving test sheet, the marking criteria, and comes with over 30 videos to explain the subjects included on the driving exam. And please remember, please like, share, and comment on this video. Okay, thank you for watching. Again, we're gonna ask you to subscribe to our channel and tell your friends to subscribe. You can visit our training zone at our website, and you can sign up to our driving test tips at lpodacademy.co.uk and check out our blog at learnerpod.co.uk. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus and Instagram. And remember, please like, share and comment below this video. We welcome all your awesome comments. If you're looking to take an intensive driving course, please visit our website for more details. Until next time, take care.